Hello and welcome to the PW Garden Show. And on this channel, you're gonna see lots of great videos and great content with gardening tips, tricks, and all the things that you need to know about looking after your garden or your client's garden. So it's Monday morning and I've just arrived at my first job of the day and I'm gonna go and see what the clients want me to do today. I'll have a little look. This time of year, the gardens are starting to slow down because we are going into November, but there will be plenty of work to do between now and Christmas. And with this business, a lot of people don't realize it, but there's actually quite a bit of work to do all year round. So I've just had a chat with them and Now, as you can see, it's not a very big garden. Um, there's some leaves and just debris and stuff. So what I may do is just get the blower first, have a little blow around, blow all this onto the uh, grass and then just use the mower to hoover that up. Sometimes you get some weeds down in the groove as well, but it's not actually too bad. There's a few weeds along the gravel. It's not too bad. Attention to detail more than anything. We get those out, make it look nice and tidy along here. This flower bed's not looking too bad. Some of these plants will just die out and phase out as the year goes on. But um, yeah, what we do is um, fluff up the bed like we will out in the front as well. These lollipop sticks are where they've um, obviously planted bulbs for the spring, so we won't go too hard on them. Right, so before we get started, I'm gonna show you some of the um, tools that I'm gonna be using for this job. I did mention, first of all, the leaf blower, just to blow all the debris and stuff onto the lawn so that we've got that to hoover up with the mower. But here is the, uh, the, the weapon of choice, as I call it, the BR600 backpack leaf blower. Now this one's a bit old and beaten up, as you can see from the marks on it, but it's a powerful bit of kit and it does the job. So here goes. <laughs> Okay, so that's the leaf blowing done. Now what I'm gonna do is hoover it up with my lawnmower and I'm just gonna show you now what I use on a daily basis for mowing. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a Hater 48. It's not the Pro Edition, it's the GTS. But I did get this brand new and um, it's been an absolute brilliant, brilliant machine. I got it from Cranny Garden Machinery. There you go, you get a bit of uh, sponsorship there, guys. So obviously here is where we uh, top up the oil. We check on that every now and then. Um, and this new mowers, the newer 21 model mowers like this one, excellent. They've got this like hose adapter here. So all you do is you get your hose at the end of the day, um, click it on there, turn the tap on, and it cleans the bottom of the deck. Also helps if you have the engine running because the blade spins and you know, you get more of a fine clean on it. But um, it's a really good mower. It's got a really good size uh, bag on it as well. Uh, obviously your normal speed speed settings here like slow and fast but I tend to just keep it on fast to be honest um, but yeah it's an absolutely brilliant machine and uh, it's gonna make this look incredible So that is the finish after I've run the uh, the mower over and I think it looks pretty good. The leaves are all up now, which is good. So now I'm just gonna tackle these flower beds over here and uh, some of the weeds that are in this bit of gravel here. And then finally, I'll just go off and blow the driveway and stuff like that. But the garden's looking really good. And uh, yeah, it uh, just shows how good how good a finish you can get if you have the right tools um, at your disposal. As I say, we're gonna tackle these flower beds now and I'm gonna use the uh, this claw hoe it's got the uh, the flat head as well, which is actually probably quite good for getting some of the weeds out of the gravel. But I tend to use this now, this time of year, on the uh, soil because it means you can lightly fluff up the beds without risking damaging any of the bulbs that have been planted for spring. I tend to use the wolf garden tools as well because I think they are slightly better than um, some of the other ones you can buy. That's not to say the other ones don't work, they do. Um, but I prefer using these. They've also got a release button as well, so it means it's easier for storage in the work So this is the before. Just so you can see that. And you'll see the, uh, the nice turned over effect you get in about two minutes time. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just about done here now. And as you can see, I've cut the grass, made that look nice. And uh, this is what I mean about the uh, turned over soil effect. Looks really good using the, uh, the three prong hoe, especially this time of year. I'd highly recommend it. As I say, it prevents you from knocking bulbs. You can see there, they've got some sticks planted and even one or two bulbs are actually starting. If I zoom in, look, coming through already. So, yep, gone's looking really good. And that is another happy customer. Okay, so I'm just at my second job of the day today. I've got um, three jobs in total. It was gonna be four, but I'm not gonna have enough daylight hours um, because I've got two hours at this one. And then I've got four hours at another one after this. So, and the next one's considerably bigger than this one as well. So what I'm doing here today is I'm tidying up the front. I've cleared a whole load of leaves already and I've just started working on these flower beds. I'm just gonna show you now what I'm working on. So you can see there's lots of, um, finer detailing to do in these beds because there's lots of nooks and crannies where self-seeded stuff has grown and um, obviously you can't do it all in one day but we're going to try and make a bit of an impact today to tidy it up so i've been working on this bed i've done some weeding and stuff in here but this when i say about finer detailing i mean like this under here all this self-seeded stuff it all needs to come out and there's obviously more buried in amongst this lot that i need to get out as well so i will have to work a bit more in there to you know make it look really really banging same with this bed um there's so much rubbish in here that needs to come out so we need to work through that a bit more and um again worked on this pulled out the worst of it but there's still a lot more to go through and take out from in here back here on friday because i've got all the hedges to do as you can uh, see they're really bushy they haven't been done for over a year so they need doing all the sides all the top all these conifers to so say that laurel and then we've got to do the sides and top of those conifers and the tree that's sticking out the top. I'll see if I can zoom in. There, the dark stuff, that's all got to uh, just be tidied up as well with the old chainsaw, so I'll be doing that. So if you remember in the first job we did, we had this uh, red stick behind me with the hoe on it for weeding. One of the things I love to use with uh, detailing and getting in nooks and crannies that you can't reach with a big hoe is this little thing. It's an absolute brilliant weeding tool and I can't recommend them highly enough. They're very good for getting in small gaps, grooves, um, especially in driveways if you're scraping moss as well. Pretty good for that. You can also get a wire brush for doing moss and stuff like that. But I mean, for general weeding in tight areas, this thing is an absolute brilliant bit of kit. Oh, we do. I mean, this one here again, self seeded, probably will flower to something nice. But what we're gonna do is just like that. If you don't get all of the root out, then basically the weeds are just gonna come back. So that's really important. And this tool is good for stabbing down and getting the uh, the roots as well. Right, so that's two jobs done now, um, and we're making good progress. We've got one more job to do today, that's about four hours. So by the time we've done that, tidied up and got all the waste and stuff cleared away, um, it's going to be close to getting dark because it's obviously now just turned November and it's um, dark by sort of half past four, five o'clock. So that's a bit of a bummer for us, but we have to we have to work with what daylight hours we've got. Before I go to the next job, I'm going to do a bit of uh, clever marketing. and. To any gardener out there who's watching this, this is a great bit of advice for you guys as well. If you've got a sign written van, that is very, very key to um, picking up new work, new clients, obviously building your business. A little tip of the day is um, park up somewhere. If, you, if you're going to get grab a coffee or a hot chocolate or a hot drink or a snack or something like that, go to a petrol station, go somewhere where you can park the van up. It's all sign written, everyone's gonna see it and yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to draw up some more business as well. It's been a very, very effective tool for me in helping my business grow and develop. It's probably one of the best forms of advertising. It's free advertising. It's not costing you anything other than the initial outlay, which I think was about £250 for me to sign up my little van. So it's not bad. You know, on a bigger van, you might pay three, four hundred quid. But it, honestly, it's worth it because the revenue you can make back from, you know, free advertising it is fantastic yeah, so off to grab a coffee now another thing you guys can do and again one of my mates is a gardener and he said to me what do you do for advertising pete and i said well actually i advertise on facebook i've got a facebook page i've got an instagram page 
I've got a Twitter page. Literally just promote your business wherever you can. Another reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel because it's another form of uh, advertising, showing you guys what I do, what I'm all about, and also helps you guys learn a few things along the way as well. Little things that you may not realize, you know, it's all about the detail. Free advertising, guys. Sign writing on your van, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, what, whatever. Just use social media. Social media is the best way to promote your business and it isn't gonna cost you anything. One other thing as well that I didn't mention, clothing. You know, I, I haven't got any um, clothing done yet, but it's something that I will do. I think a uniform makes you look a little bit more professional. Um, again, it goes in hand in hand with the sign writing on a van. If you were to turn up in a, a car, and this is no disrespect to any gardeners that do work out the back of a car because, you know, you do what you have to do to make money but I think turning up in a van with sign writing and having all the right tools and all the right equipment and clothing and everything it is the top ticket you know it will make you look better make you look more professional and people actually take you a lot more seriously so when you go in and you charge you know for argument's sake 20 to 25 pounds an hour um, which is the going rate for where we are in Surrey you know, Surrey and West Sussex. I, I, I don't think you can afford to work for less than that because you've obviously got your overheads, you know, your petrol for your machinery, your running costs, the vet wear and tear on your van, everything else. There's a lot more to factor into this business than people actually give you um, credit for. They, A lot of people I find when you go to do a quote, they will go, oh, 20 pound an hour or 25 pound an hour, that's a lot of money. Actually, we don't make 25 pounds an hour out of what we charge. Out of that 25 pounds an hour, we might make about eight pound 59 pounds by the time we factored in all our overheads and stuff. So, you know, 20, 25 quid an hour with the uh, rates of inflation at the moment, fuel prices going up and everything else going up. Yeah, the, the cost of living is so high. And to be honest, by the time we factored in all our outgoings and general everyday running costs we don't make much more than somebody on the minimum wage so yes 25 pounds seems like a lot but in hindsight it's really not for what we do because we are a skilled trade so yeah just bear that in mind um if you're getting a gardener in like me or anyone else if we give you a price it's not actually as bad as it seems you just got to think about all the overheads and general wear and tear on our tools because we have to buy new parts new equipment service our machinery um, so yeah, it, it's expensive, it's not cheap, but you know, we do what we have to do to, um, to make a living and to survive and to offer a professional and amazing service. So grab your coffee, sit in a car park outside your local home base or B&Q or wherever you are and everyone will see your car. So it makes sense, you know, it's free advertising. I've had people come up to me before and ask me for a business card and I've gone around, done the quote, got the job. So it does work, it does pay off. Um, so if you haven't got uh, any sign writing on your van, I would highly recommend it. You do become a target for thieves, people that want to steal your tools and break into your van and whatnot. So if you do get your sign writing, I'd invest in a reinforced lock. They're about 50 to 60 quid off uh, Amazon. Uh, just take it to your local garage if you can't fit it yourself and then get it fixed. It's um, Honestly, it's worth it. It's not worth having your tools nicked because that's your livelihood at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it, co it costs money. So we've just finished blowing all the leaves and now what we're doing is collecting them up now that we've got them in piles but I've also just blown down this entire driveway. Um, there's more that way around the corner but obviously the gardens next door are doing that today so we sort of take it in turns and alternate who does that. So they're doing that today. I'm concentrating on the garden today. I've got all of these uh, piles over here to clear up. So we better crack on. Leaf grabbers, straight into the tongue bag. As I say, loads more to pick up.
down there and then. And that's looking better nicely shaped i know it's a bit of a odd shape here but you can't round it off anymore because then you'll be left with a bit of a ball patch so i've kind of gone with the shape that the previous gardener had um, done so uh all these hedges here i'd love to tackle them but uh the guy's already arranged for a tree surgeon to come in and shape up some of the bigger stuff and the hedges all the way around to the front so but i'm quite happy doing little bits and pieces for now and then obviously working in flower beds and cutting grass and stuff like that and clearing leaves as you've seen so when yeah. it comes to hedge cutting i'm a bit of a perfectionist so it's got to look absolutely banging so i've just finished clearing this bed this was basically um just completely covered in weeds you couldn't see the weeds for like it was so bad honestly it was just so bad and um yeah we've got it down to just pretty much bare soil so it's looking really good now so the customer's going to be absolutely super happy when they see this so i'm still working on the, another flower bed still at the big job still at my uh big job and um yeah we've only got about an hour or so left to go but uh this is the bed we're working on at the moment we're just basically weeding and making it look really nice we've got a lot of self-seeded weeds and stuff like this in here as you can see growing up lots of weeds 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 so we're going to work through this entire bed get all the weeds out and make it look like this all nicely turned over pick all this stuff out because you don't want all that in there but um yeah it's gonna look good we're making some awesome progress here today we've leaf blown cleared all the drive and worked around the back so yeah doing good kicking okay, so i'm some just butt. finished for the day and uh yeah we've just been working our way through this flower bed there is one or two little leaves in there but we're not too worried about that we've pulled out a lot of the weeds now and we've turned over the soil so that's looking really nice but all the way along yeah really good as i say these leaves will just rot down in with the compost anyway so it's not so much of a major drama but all in all i think it's good we've thinned it out a little bit and um yeah because it's the first thing that anyone's going to see because it's at the front of a house it's going to make you know first impressions look better when you come and see it like from the naked eye it looks a lot better than it did to start with and just like that another day done look how dark it is now it's ridiculous street lamps are on crazy So yeah, massive thank you to everybody who has watched my very first video here on YouTube. It has been amazing to share these uh, gardening jobs with you today and we will have plenty more to come uh, over the coming weeks on this channel. There's uh, plenty more jobs coming up 
I say big head shops and stuff. So really looking forward to bringing you guys along with me on my journey uh, in the world of gardening. And uh, again, sharing tips with you and uh, sharing my experiences and things with you. And hopefully you guys might pick up on a few things along the way as well. So yeah, look forward to seeing you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye for now.